Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 19. Inside this video, we will see that how can we keep old value into form. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, WordPress, Node.js, then you need to visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have several interesting blog articles. Here we can see all about recently posted blog articles. Also, category-wise we can see here like CodeIgniter 4, WordPress and several. This is a module of create an article for the guest post publication. If you are interested to post your article with online web tutor, simply go here fill author details, post details and submit for the approval to admin. Once it will be approved, automatically get posted inside this online web tutor community. So back to the topic. Inside this video, we will see that how can we keep old value. Back to editor. In the last video, we had seen all about this form called add student. So what I will do, simply if I copy the route, back to browser, go here and if I type in called our add student and student controller does not exist, it means that this is the controller actually we haven't loaded here. So use student controller. If we save, go and reload and as we can see that this is our form. Inside this form, we have name email and mobile number. So when we submit this form, first of all, let's open that. So go here inside this student controller. This is the method called add student. And inside this method, we are calling a view file called my form. So back to resources folder, views folder. And here we have called my form.plate.php. And inside this, we are submitting our data to this route called submit-data. So this submit-data is calling submit data method inside this student controller. Back to controller and here are the form validation applied rules. Now if we go submit without any data, we are getting errors perfect but in case if we pass any value let's say a dummy value and we haven't passed all about the name and means email and the mobile number but when we click submit button keep in mind we have a name value click on submit button the name value also lost but as we know that we have two fields required only called email and the mobile so how can we keep the old value of existing data back to editor go inside this form so to retain or keep the old value we have a simplest method what i need to do simply go here let's type a value attribute curly pairs to print any value and we are going to use a laravel helper function that is old helper name so inside this helper function, simply we need to pass the name attribute. So here we have the name attribute for this name field. So passing here a single quotes or double quotes. Now inside this, we are just passing the name attributes. So same I need to repeat for this email address and the mobile number. Copy this email, pasting it here, mobile and pasting it here. Now if we save all these changes, go and reload this form. Now if we pass any value, go and submit data, we can see that we have validation errors, perfect, but this time we are just redirecting with the old existing data. So by the help of old function, now we retained our old data as well. Let's say we are not passing any data inside this name field, instead we are passing data inside this email field click on submit again we kept our old value for this email field so this is the use of old helper function 
and when we pass any data inside this let's say we are passing a dummy value now this time we have passed all the values click on submit now our form data has been submitted and printed here so inside this video we just seen that how can we keep actually the old value and simply by using the old helper function inside this we need to pass the name attribute now from the next video guys we will see some database concepts so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day